Howdy, everybody. It's your pal, Misty. Sit back, relax, and enjoy while I talk about my mama, because it's her birthday. Happy birthday, mama. I'm glad to know that you'll be watching this on your birthday. And now, you can even go back and watch it other times if you want to. But I don't know if you'll want to. <laughs> Not that I'm going to say anything bad. I just, you know, if you have time and you want to come back and watch it, you can. But I thought I'd share um, with everybody today some thoughts on, um, on you, Mama. But first, let's get on to the road. So, my mama has told me a few things as I was growing up that I thought were kind of interesting um, and funny and, you know, on the back end. And she said that, you know, when she was pregnant with me, all she was hoping for was a kid. It didn't matter if it was a girl or a boy, but she wanted it to look like her and have my daddy's eyes. My daddy has brown eyes. I'm sorry, Mama, that did not work. My daddy looks like this. <laughs> so, strike one. Recently, she told me that she, as I was growing up, wanted me to call her Mom, which... I believe I've discussed in another video. Not sure if it's gone up yet or not, but um, I didn't. I didn't ever do that. I called her Mama, and so, hey Mama, it's your birthday. <laughs> uh, and you would think that in learning that that's what I would call her going forward, but you'd be wrong because just like I tell Kaylee, um, her name is Tiny Mite. I don't care if she wants to be called Big Mite. Or anything other than tiny that's her name so mama that's your name your name is mama I hope you like it I know you've grown to love it for sure right um, I taught my mom I think one of the greatest things about me <laughs> is, is, is that I have taught my mom a bunch of lessons in raising me first off I would just like to start by saying I was a good kid. I was a very good kid. I did like, on one hand probably, you can count the number of things that I did wrong when I was growing up. I tried to be a good kid. I always wanted to be a good kid. I always didn't want to not be smart, even though people thought I wasn't smart. Um, and my mama helped me learn. And she helped me learn how I learn, so that then I could learn how to learn and then other people would also not think I wasn't smart. Some people still think that, but it's not It's not true. I'm, I'm pretty smart. Uh, she also learned that... Mm, i trying to think of a way to put it. That if you try something over and over and over and it doesn't work, don't keep trying that. Because it doesn't work. And it's things that as a parent, you, you want to work like, you know, your child flushing the toilet. I, I would forget. I was done. And then I would just leave. And so I wrote sentences about the toilet. And then she was worried that I was going to electrocute my little brother... Not that I was going to hurt myself, only that I may electrocute my little brother. So I think, I'm pretty sure it was a tactic that if I didn't unplug the hairdryer. So I wrote hundreds and hundreds of sentences of I will unplug the hairdryer. And now I'm not saying that I didn't learn that lesson, but I didn't. And now I just have short, guess what, you don't need with a haircut like this, a hairdryer fix that problem right up. I do actually own a hair dryer for when it is sort of long and out of control. Um, and then recently she's learning a lesson uh, that things that make her happy aren't the things that make everybody else happy. And that's okay too. 
because if you want to talk about two of the most opposite people in a whole bunch of ways, that'd be me and my mama. We're different. We're very different. I love animation. And she does not ever want to see a cartoon again in her life if she could help it. Now, she'll go with the girls, you know, or if they want to watch it, she'll put it on. But she'll fall asleep. She won't. She won't be watching it. I love musicals. She likes them. And she knows some of them. <laughs> now, the one thing that we do have in common is our love of YouTube. And that has led us here. To this channel. To the previous channel. To me doing vlogs at all. First, she wanted me to write, and I did that, and there is a blog out there in the universe called Skinny Misty on WordPress.com. If you ever have time or want to go look it up, feel free. It is out there, and I uh, haven't deleted any of the posts. I just haven't written anything to the posts. Written anything to the post? I just haven't posted anything new. I haven't written anything. I've been vlogging instead of blogging, which is easier, less time consuming, and does make me happier. I like getting my words and my thoughts out because it helps, but to write them in a way that may not always be understood, because some of it's in the timing for me, like, I want people to read what I wrote the way I wrote it, or else you may not, it's not as funny, it's not as informative, it's just not the same. If you don't read it the way that I intended. So now we do the vlogs. And I've been doing that for over two years now. This channel I've had since my birthday in July. So just uh, a few months. But we have almost as many videos on this channel as we do um, on Skinny Misty Plus. Which I got a new video uh, recently as well. So, I just wanted to take a few minutes to jump on and say, Happy Birthday, Mama. I love you. I'm sorry that I still... Look, now I know to flush the toilet, like, almost every time. I even made sure in the bed in the Airbnb that it flushed. And it didn't. And you had to show, teach me how. And then, But then I did it every time. And I haven't left a hairdryer unplugged in years because I don't use it. So, technically, you did teach me them things. It just took a minute. But, seriously, making my mom laugh is one of the best things in the whole entire universe. Although, she also does it in the middle of vlogs. Which, peanut gallery. I, do, I love it. I think it's so much fun. Um, I can remember just... I remember one specific time more than other times. There's a lot of them, but one of the first times I guess I remember is really what it is, because every time is after that. But the first time I remember, we were on our way to a dance recital, and she had all of her makeup on, and she was getting, like, really frustrated with me, because I kept making her laugh so hard that she was crying. And then as she was crying, her mascara was coming off, and she didn't really didn't want to have to redo her makeup. So for today mama I just want you to know that I love you and that I would not be where I am today who I am today and I'm pretty proud of the person that I am so I hope that you are too you were definitely instrumental in getting me there even if we are polar opposites and I know the girls also uh, love to make you laugh as much as I do I hope today um is a very great day for you and also gonna put it out there so that you won't be making excuses everybody my mama's starting keto again I will say keto is the one diet that worked for me and I will most definitely get back on it um, but mama I hope you do well on keto I hope you have a great day uh, I wish I could be there to make you cry until your mascara came off uh, but I can't. So hopefully this video will share some fun memories of me being an annoying child 
and you loving me and trying to teach me anyway because <laughs> I don't know what I would have done without you um so I hope you have a great day happy birthday I love you and until next time I will see y'all real soon